I make a T flip flop. Basically what that is, it basically turns a button into a switch. Because yeah, that's pretty cool. And it's really simple to make. So, I've already talked about, you know, locks. You know, you got your typical, um, typical lock, you know. Making two buttons into pretty much a switch. But now, you can do it just one. My bad. This needs to be it. Like that. And so, what we can do... Well, actually you don't need this. What I'm going to show you is how to make uh, one switch into a button. So this is an XOR gate into an OR gate into an AND gate into, uh, into it again. So this creates a loop. And then this is purely this button right here going into this. This is purely for just um, just resetting the contraption. So say if I press this button, it blinks like that. Like that, and then you can just reset it. And so, yeah, it blinks a lot. Well, basically what this is doing is it's sending a signal into here, it's looping around, hits it again, but since this is an or, uh, this is an XOR gate, it'll basically get two inputs, turn off, but then it gets one, and it turns on, and it gets two, turns off, then it gets one, etc. That's why it blinks a whole lot. But as you saw, if you can get it just right, you can get it to turn on. That only happens when you have it a one tick pulse. So it's too hard to do it manually. So here is how to do it um, with another contraption. And so the basis is really simple. You're basically creating a one tick pulse here that's going into it here. And then, yeah, that basically works. And the same thing goes if you turn it um, off again. It's literally the exact same thing. So, it turns a button into a switch, and then this, you don't even really need. <laughs> so, yeah, there you go. Um, so I'll show you how to build it. I'll show you how to build the one tick pulse, because this is extremely important if you want to make some other contraptions. So, a one tick pulse just consists of two logic gates and a timer. You connect the button to all three. Um, I'll spread them out so it's easier to see. Connect it to all three. And then, um, you want this one to be an XOR. So it's saying if only one is active. So I'll hit this one. This one will already be on, and then this one will go to here. And then I'll hit it, and then it will turn off really quickly. But, um, as you can tell, it... You press it, and it turns on for a blink. If you let go of it, it turns on a blink, and you don't want that. So, you connect this to here, and this is what the AND gate is for. You connect it here with the button, and then this ensures that it only blinks once. Without, when you let it go, then it turns on again. So that's really simple, it's really, really cool, um, it's used in a lot of contraptions. And then, all you do is connect it to Mr. XOR here, you make a loop, and then you just make one of them XOR, and then, boom, like that, button into a switch. How awesome is that? It's pretty awesome. And, um, uh, with this, you can start making binary counters. Those things are really fun, and, yeah, I'll get into those, um, later on. So, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, comment down below, please subscribe, you don't have to, but... If you want to, then that, that's pretty cool too. So yeah, 